If it isn't, the spooky little bitches, the phantoms, and the weirdos. I'm Ash. I'm Corinne. I'm Sabrina. I'm Elena. I was like, I'm going to die here. I can't leave. Dead body. The wind kept whistling through the front door as like a mail slot. And the wind would like whistle through it and shake that mail slot. You shouldn't be here. I'm pregnant, so you're not allowed to do anything to me when I walk into this room, okay? You may make physical contact with me if it is gentle. When I said I don't want to be touched, I felt something on my thigh. Come play with us. Are you fucking kidding me? I felt horrible in that room. Don't leave. I'm sorry. Oh! My heart just sank. Okay. Well, well, well. We're spooky bitches. <laughs> if it isn't the spooky little bitches, the phantoms, and the weirdos. Because we're here together with some of our paranormal besties. And just like we've grown so close to Ash and Elena in just our personal lives too. And for years, or I guess the last year and a half, we've been talking about doing a paranormal investigation with them ever since our first collab. And we finally did it. And it really was just something that we decided to do just because we wanted to for fun. Mm -hmm. And then after we did it, we're like, wait, should we maybe record some episodes about this too? (laughs) And just, (laughs) I guess, double dip on what we're already doing because we just all have a love of the paranormal, obviously, and investigating. And Ash and Elena had already been to the Lizzie Borden house and told us things about it. And I think, Sabrina, you and I are a bit notorious for bringing some activity or the energy that triggers activity with us. Because we're haunted. And so the four of us went and we rented out the Lizzie Borden house for just the four of us. And it was haunting. It was. And so this is a two-parter. You can listen to this episode. It doesn't matter what order you listen to them in. We have part one. They're both coming out the same day. One part is on the Morbid feed where we talk a little bit more about the history of Lizzie Borden and some facts that we learned while there and elena goes into a deep dive especially about the autopsy and we did reference some evps and some of the activity that happened in the house that backs up some of the new theories of what happened at this house on morbid's feed and then we also in that episode dig into some really creepy nursery rhymes and the fact that Mm -hmm. As kids, we were chanting, Lizzie Borden took an axe. Gave her father 40 wax. When she saw what she had done, she gave her father 41. Yeah, creepy. And then this episode is all about the overnight. And so much happened. We have so much that is on our recordings between the four of us. Almost all of us were always recording something. But of course, there's always parts that are missing. And we tried to discuss as much as we possibly could in the time that we had for this episode, but there's still so many things that we never even got to talk about. Like when the spirits called us out on having irritable bowels and called us witches. (laughs) So please enjoy this episode. We'll have a mix of our audio where we recount our experience at the Lizzie Borden house and then some clips from the evening itself. So if you do want to watch those, we highly recommend going to YouTube to watch the video portions of what happened at the overnight at the Lizzie Borden house. Enjoy, everybody. I'm Ash. I'm Corinne. I'm Sabrina. I'm Elena. Should we talk about how this came to be? How we decided to do an overnight together? Yeah. How did we decide this? I don't even remember. When we, you guys were backstage with us at the Boston show. Oh, yeah. And we were like, we really want to do an overnight again. 
And then you two were like, yeah, us too. And then I don't know how Lizzie Borden came. I think we were just like, we did it. Yeah, yep. you said yeah. we've been to the Lizzie Borden house. We should do that again. Yep. And you were like, let's go. Yeah. And then a few weeks later, I think I just texted and was like, cool, because I knew I was pregnant and that I had a timeline. <laughs> so you were like, let's get this we're done. We're like, we got to book this. <laughs> when are we going? Because I don't have much more time left. <laughs> I don't have much time. <laughs> I'm about to be a whole ass mama. And then truly on that day, we booked it. We yeah. did. You were like, does February work? We're like, yeah, I don't think we have anything. You're like, okay, it's all set. Great, February. Fit. All right. It's, it's paid for. It. We're going. See <laughs> we're buying the whole house. It's the <laughs> way I like to have things scheduled. It's like, I would like to do this thing. And everybody's like, absolutely, let's do this thing. And it's then like we were booked. like, and then we did that it. thing is booked. And we're like, all right, <laughs> your only <laughs> job is to show up. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, on great. this day, at this time. <laughs> Perfect. The best. But you guys had been to Lizzie Borden before. So what were your impressions of the house the first time you went versus this time? It definitely still had that same like dark feeling, I yeah, would say, the I, first time. And I distinctly time. remember that. The first time is we went in there and I was like, ooh, I was like shocked by how heavy that place felt. And I think it's like I've never been in somewhere that like something that horrific had happened no. and that you've seen the pictures and right. I mean, you can go right to the spot. Everything is the same. A lot of the stuff is original. Obviously, there's like a ton that's had to be like redone, but it's like it's all still there. Like it's yeah. the same house. It's the same. Like exact they haven't house. changed the blueprint of the house. No, at not all. at all. No, it's yeah. the same. And it's like so. The first time we went there, we were with other people that we didn't know. We had booked one of the rooms, and the rest of the rooms were booked. And it was like a monsoon out that night, so <laughs> it, was it was so scary. scary. <laughs> and Ash would not let me sleep she was like no nope, you're staying up with me the whole night I get it <laughs> and it's like yeah. I was like all right well I'm up all night but we just sat in the like sitting room we recorded an episode yep and we sat up in the sitting room where Andrew was murdered actually yeah, I was sitting like right in the right very where spot. he was done yeah did you record an episode from that couch yeah yep. for, we did um part of it from down in the couch we did part of it from up in the room I think yep. yeah Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And we like live stream too at, at times, but it kept glitching. The live stream was when yeah. I got the most scared because that was like when we first got there, we were met by like a tour guide and they gave mm -hmm. us the whole like story. Right. And so that was different. That, that, was, <laughs> so different. that was also. <laughs> and then they Just left us wandering through the house for like five hours and then texting a number that we found on the fridge <laughs> like five <Hello>? hours later. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was a little different the, the first time we went. But then they leave you, obviously. And they were like, they literally were going to leave us with lanterns because it was monsooning so bad that they were like, yeah, the power might go out. <laughs> Here's some lanterns. Here's some lanterns. Like, Godspeed. So spooky. The wind kept whistling through oh. the front door as like a mail slot. And the wind oh. would like whistle through it and shake that mail slot. And mm -hmm. we, I was like, I'm going to die here. Like, <laughs> this is, I'm going to be one of them. That's the thing. Because there was this like fun energy. Like, yeah. it was like. It was dark when you first walked in there, but there was a fun energy during the tour. And then as soon as that woman who gave the tour left and was like, see ya. We all felt, felt abandoned. so <laughs> real. Like wow. I was like, oh, we're staying yeah. here overnight. And like and some people left. And it's yeah. you and a bunch of other strangers, which also adds to it being creepy. Well, I think was, that added to that it. That was honestly the creepiest thing to me the first time was yeah. I'm more concerned with what real people do than 100%. what ghosts yeah. are going to do to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was worried. I don't know these people and I don't like this. So I am going to stay alert and make sure that I don't have right. to like defend myself here. That was like part of me not yeah. wanting to go to sleep. But the way bigger part of it was <laughs> I feel like you're just like they can infiltrate you if you're asleep they can the ghosts. Ghosts. oh absolutely yeah because you can't you're vulnerable do anything. seeing the room that you guys had booked that you were supposed to stay yeah. in i would never have gone to sleep that night either no they brought us up to that room and i was like you've got to be fucking shitting me like i was like you're lying you this know what's is not crazy the book. is that we spent time in pretty much every single room of that house not that, that one. one we never it is weird that we didn't go into that room at all, really. At all. I don't like that room. And it was... There's it, something but, about it. When we were, like, yeah. collecting all of our things at the end, I was like, wow, we really didn't spend any time in this room. And I feel like... I don't think we even stepped into it. No. Truly. I think we poked our heads in. Yeah, poked our heads. It. That's it. I don't even know if they told us, like, what that room was. Amber didn't when we went through the house. Yeah, you're her. right. Maybe that's the problem with it. We don't know what it is. So we we're like, I'm not know. fucking with that. That's not too. But it's yeah. also like, why did Amber take us into almost every single room except for that one again? Yeah. Why is everyone avoiding that room? Yeah. <laughs> this is a mystery. Sinister vibes yeah. in that room. It's dark sided. <laughs> it's dark sided. <laughs> <laughs> we went in there and we were like, no. Mm -mm. So did you get the same feeling, like the heaviness when you walked in? Absolutely. Yeah. The, yeah. the exact same feeling. It was feeling. still there. 
I felt like I was like reverted back to the first time we had yeah. walked in there. Yeah. It's very interesting because Sabrina and I, I think throughout the night, I felt more and more scared as we were making more contact. Yeah. But when we first walked in the house, you would think that we would be more scared than we were because we got there first. It was just us two and there was no one there to greet us. Yeah. It was this house that we'd never been to with the reputation that it has. But I think because we had already gone to the Conjuring house. Yep. And the Conjuring house felt so much scarier. I had, I was certain parts really like heavy energy. Yeah. There. That we were kind of moving freely about the first. We went floor. to the bathroom by ourselves. Yeah. That's wild. Before you guys got there. That's crazy. We yeah. were just freely moving about. Like I sat in the dining room for a good amount of time. You were like in the other room. Yeah. And the reason that sounds crazy is because throughout the night, none of us would go into a room right. alone no. or go to the bathroom alone. It, it did get darker. scarier as it got darker. And later, yeah. like you feel, right. yeah. you feel a different kind of like vibe to the air, the later and the darker For that sure. it gets there. And also, so we got there probably like an hour before you did. And we were like, let's not explore the rest of the house until Ash and Elena get here. Cause we wanted to like experience it with you. And so we were only in the downstairs area. We chose not to like listen to anything or really refresh our memories on the Lizzie Borden case. So we were just like exploring all the cases that are downstairs, like the, you know, autopsy stuff. And then we walk into the room where at the time I didn't know this where Andrew had died and Mm -hmm. been murdered and I'm sitting by the chair or by the couch and there was this like one of those like face on a stick things yes and I was like I wonder what this face on a stick is I'm like standing there at the couch holding Andrew's face holding yeah holding Andrew's face and I all of a sudden get this feeling of pressure on my head like on the back left side I look at Corinne and I'm like it's still there like it's like a, a feeling and I like yeah, you're it. like, ow, like my my head kind of like hurts. It feels weird. Yeah. It feels like something's touching like right here. Yeah. And then truly my eyes, the next thing it goes to is the crime scene photo yep. of Andrew on that couch. And I was like, is this literally the standing spot? where it's like right here? Yeah. So that like right away, paranormal things started happening. It was. It was right. And it's it's one of those things because you can pinpoint exactly where these horrific things happen mm-hmm. yeah. in that house. So it's like I feel like there's just like something associated with that that makes it even scarier. Definitely. Because right. as soon as you walk into that room, you're just like, wow, like, is this how the person walked into the room that yeah, did this? Right. Like, am I walking the same path that that person walked? Oh, that's right. So Going chilling. up the stairs, I was like, we're walking the same stairs that those people walked oh. to, or whoever did it, right. walked up those stairs. And were they hiding in that closet? Did they walk right into the room? Like, oh, right. we're doing the same thing that they did. We're touching the same hand railing Talking, to study yeah, ourselves. Same thing. Like, and we learned also from our encounters with Andrew's spirit and then also from Amber that Andrew doesn't like people in their house, no, in the sure house at all. No, we were told multiple times, you're, you're annoying. annoying. You're annoying. <laughs> you're annoying me. Yeah. That's what, yeah. yeah. And yeah. be quiet. But he did tell us we could call him Andrew. That's true. Because we asked him, should we call you Mr. Borden, Andy, Andrew? And he said Andrew. Because we heard Mr. And I was like, do you want us to refer to you as Mr.? Yeah. Right. Okay, we had so many encounters. Should we go like room by room, room by room, and like time start line-ish. from like yeah. the night? Okay, well, let's start at the beginning because we did something that we learned from paranormal investigators Greg and Dana Newkirk that you guys hadn't experienced bef- at your last time no. in the no. Seaborn House, which was setting intentions and pulling cards to try to communicate with the house and the spirits to let them know why we were there and what their involvement could be. And kind of like setting boundaries and respect at the top of our investigation. So for setting intentions, I don't, I don't know why I'm the one doing this. I don't feel like I'm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We would love to communicate with the spirits at this house. And we would like to let you know that we are going to treat you and this home with kindness. We don't want to instigate anything. And we ask that you treat us with kindness. And we'd only like to have any positive interactions with you. That being said, we did bring some things with us that you can use to interact with us. Feel free to also knock or make noises in the house to let us know you're here. We just ask that you don't do it too close to our person where it becomes frightening. Yeah, Mm -hmm. please. And then asking if they wanted to give us messages through the cards, Mm -hmm. which sometimes I feel like we read the we pulled cards a couple times throughout the night and it was almost like, are they telling us a message or it did feel like that that way? Or is it about the house? Well, in the beginning, the so we pulled two cards. Yeah. And you had pulled out the spread and then you had me wave my hands over them and vibration pull where it was buzzing. 
And then Ash, remember you were like, I knew you were going to pull mm-hmm, that yeah. one. Like you could also sense like where it was wanting us to draw the cards. Yep. And I can't remember the photos on the cards. I remember we got the raccoon at one point. We didn't get it first, but one of the other cards that we pulled referenced raccoon. And then we yeah. ended up getting it the second time. Mm-hmm. And I was like, why does this keep coming up? One of them was the hurricane lamp, I think. Yeah, the yes. oil, the hurricane oil lamp. Yeah. And we were sitting a right in front in of a, a lamp. In a circle around a hurricane. You know what's so mm-hmm. wild is I just pulled it up. Yeah, it's the hurricane lamp and the raccoon. But why did I say it like that? Raccoon. 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 I like <laughs> um, the New Jersey coming out. Okay, You're so right. that picture is after we ate. Yeah. Because the first card we pulled, and I'm going to butcher this, but it was about, remember it was about like the story being, being misunderstood. Yes. Oh, you no, know, you're right. Yeah. 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 And we felt like it was talking about the case. And yeah. Like- we felt like it did associate itself with the case because it was talking about like being misunderstood and telling the truth and like finding the real story. Yeah. And we were like, holy crap. And then the second card we pulled was about like taking care of yourself and was related oh, to yeah. health. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And just like the physical body and ailments, which could also be related to the house. Sure. Yeah. It did feel like a lot of the messaging that I guess maybe I was interpreting it was like if it was Lizzie, it was a she was pushed to do it mm-hmm. in order to protect herself. Yeah. But, it did come off like that. Okay. So right away we did this. We set our intentions. I asked if anyone was willing to be touched. Is anyone here okay with being touched by a spirit? I am not. I would prefer not to be. I, you know, if you feel like you need to, but please do it nicely. I, too, am open to being touched. Again, if it is nicely, I do yeah. not want to be scratched or no. pushed. You may make physical contact with me if it is gentle. Same for me. Me mm. and Corinne were like, hell no. 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 <laughs> Absolutely not. But I feel like I ended up getting touched anyway. You did. That's true. Wait, you got touched twice. Yeah, you yeah. did. That's yep. true. Yeah. One of my biggest regrets is... When we were backstage in Boston, you and I, Elena, were like, we'll do a Ouija board. Yes. We'll do a Ouija board at the Lizzie board. Yeah, house. Like, oh, I was like, I will not be sitting anywhere near you. So we're sitting at dinner in the dining room. We had a REM pod in the room where Andrew had died. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And we were like, where are the Ouija boards? Like, we oh, were confused. And this is when we started to realize, like, a lot of the things that we were told would happen that we would have for us when we got to the house was not there. <laughs> <laughs> in addition to no one being there to greet us. And... Was it Ash? Did you say where they were? Or I know Elena. I pointed to the room, but you hadn't said anything yet. And I just pointed to the room. I was like, "Oh, in there," because I remember it being in there from the other. And as soon as I said that, that REM pod went off. I don't even think you got the full sentence of like "in there" out. Like I think you literally pointed and took the breath, and you were about to say "in," and it started. I think so. So we did learn that they don't keep Ouija boards at the Lizzie Borden house anymore because when the tour guide Amber arrived that evening, we asked about it. And she said that that Ouija board that used to be there, someone had stolen it one night. A guest had taken it home with them. Not and they cool. had no, no, totally not cool. And also, why the fuck would you want to do that? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. this was a Five Ouija vibes. board that was like over 100 years old. So like it was a prized possession for the Lizzie Borden house to have. They made yeah. a grave mistake. Yes. Yeah. Because weeks later, Amber said that they got the Ouija board back and there was a note attached with it that said make it stop I will never forget that story as long as I live that and the one she told after so after that night they decided no more Ouija boards in the house like it they just can't control what's happening yeah so many people don't use them properly mm-hmm. yeah and you have no idea who like what those people did that took the Ouija board exactly. out of the Lizzie board house and what you're gonna bring in. like they didn't right close anything properly or something yeah happens yeah that- And then so the second story that Amber told us is that there was one night where similar to how Amber was like awoken out of bed, another staff member was called at like 1030 at night and was like, you need to go to the house and remove something from, I think it was Abby, was it Abby's room? I think it was Abby's room. And Mm -hmm. she shows up and she's like really confused. And the person who was staying in that room is like waiting outside the bedroom and is like, it's in there underneath the box spring between the box spring and the mattress was a Ouija board. That I is, would I would go home. Yeah, that would I be would it. never stay there. Yeah, no. That would be it for me that if, night. I'd yeah. be like, you know what? I'll try this again later. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> if that was my experience, I would they wouldn't even know that it was there because I'd be in my car 400 gone, miles gone. away. My question is what happened to make that person look between the mattress and the box spring? Yeah, yeah because yeah. I don't think she said. No. But clearly something. Well, unless they had just checked in and they were like 
you know, the classic check for bed bugs. Unless oh they were like God. me. <laughs> Which the whole, we as we walked through the house when you guys first got there, Elena, you were checking every checking. nook and cranny. She does that whenever we go anywhere and it's my favorite thing about you because I'm like, you amazing. go ahead and look. Yeah, like she, everyone knows I'm just going to go check everywhere, everywhere that a human being could be hiding. Yep. I'm going to check. Yeah. Like even in hotel rooms, yeah. she like, she does her whole lay of the land. I clear it all and then I'm like, okay, it's everyone smart. can relax. Like, you even smart. check the mirrors. So you're like double sided mirror. Oh, yeah. Put your finger on the. Yeah. yeah. Is anyone like, watching yeah. us? It's like space is safe. But in that front room, so we brought with us a few pieces of equipment. We brought the REM pods, or we had one REM pod and they had a bunch of REM pods, mm-hmm. which tells us if there's a temperature fluctuation of above or below five degrees. And also if there's any motion very, very close to the pod. We had a bunch of EMF readers to measure the electromagnetic field, any changes there. We had cat balls accessible to us at the Lizzie Borden house. So they had a bunch of cat balls, which are just literally cat toys that Mm. would react to any movement, which I think that only went off like once. The one time up in in Bridget's Bridget's room room when everything went off at the same time. Oh, yeah. You're right. Can you step away from it? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I don't know why we didn't stay in there longer because there was like I think it was just there was a spooky to, vibe. I think we got scared. Right? I think yeah. it started to chill out. Like it was going hard, and then yeah. we were like, it went into like a second of calm, and I think we were all like, okay, okay, so, okay. yeah, they're done, so we're done, we've done it. Yeah, we had dowsing rods with us, which yes. Elena you used. Yep, and then we had multiple spirit boxes, and then we also used ghost tube to communicate. And we had almost everything going the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. We got a lot on Ghost Tube. I we felt, really did. I didn't expect did. that, to be honest. I was kind of like a little bit skeptical of that. Right. And Me then too. when we started getting like words coming through, I was like, this is too accurate. Right. Like, this like with be Abby's made up. room, which or, where Abby was murdered, which we oh, talked yeah. about on your episode, and yep. then the kids' room, which we'll talk about a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I was expecting Ghost Tube to be kind of because I had the same kind of idea. I was like, I don't know, I'm a little skeptical of this. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was just going to be spitting out words like same. Mm-hmm. Constantly. constantly. And I thought that was going to make me be like, okay, one of these is going to hit because they're going to spit out like a right. hundred right. words. And it doesn't. No. It is Quiet silent for a, while. for a long time, mm-hmm. and then it'll all of a sudden just spit out a word. And, and when it spits out a word, it's, it's always related accurate. to what you're yeah. discussing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Which kind of is a good way to talk about what led us to the basement. We were listening the to room. the S boxes, yeah. and we had Ghost Tube going. And I think we were asking, like, how they felt about people visiting. And that's when we got the bad. bad. Oh. Oh, and like the breathing. Oh, yeah, that one. yeah, and that was through the S box, right? Yeah. Yes. Well, we learned a few things in that moment. One, we learned that Ash, you should be <laughs> the person who listens yes. if we do the S's You're method. You're so good at it. Because we would hear something and be like, that was something. And then, but you would be able to decipher real time and we'd go back, we'd replay it and we'd be like, holy shit, that is what. Yeah, What's she that? can pick out the words. I don't know what it was. I can't. It was, it was scaring me that like I was getting them yeah. more. Like you were our like, translator. Right yeah, <laughs> I was a gross translator. I get super like overstimulated with yeah. too much sound. Mm-hmm. So like if too many people are talking at once, I'll never understand what anyone. I can't pick out one person's yeah. voice. But you're like really good at just zoning in on one. What thing. was the one in Andrew's room? It was also earlier that we paused and replayed it, and it was exactly what you said. Do you guys remember? Oh, yeah. I have them written down. Oh, I forget what that one was. In like the, in the room where he was killed. Yeah, yeah, you two were sitting on the couch. And we replayed it. And we were like, holy shit, that is what that said. I forget which one oh that God, was. I remember was that? The, the first one I got was bad. And I yeah. I played it for my husband, Drew, when I got home. And he was like, I don't want to hear anything else. Yeah, he was like, And Fuck he was that. like, I don't want to know about your ghostly abilities. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that one? I don't remember what that was. But in that front room... I believe it was the front room when we were communicating with it. It was, it was like that whispered bad when we said, do you, how do you feel feel? about people trying to like come here and figure stuff out? Yeah. And then after it said bad, what was so freaky was we had like five minutes of trying to communicate ahead of that answer. And then after it first said bad, that whispered breathing and like breathy, like, (sighs) ah. kept coming up Mm -hmm. yes and that wasn't a part of it in the first five minutes so once it said bad it was very very active and then we had also asked in that same session we said did something tragic happen in this room or sorry this was an ant i need to mark what happens in what room i know it's It's so hard i think was it my head it was my face my face face. but what did we ask was that the one that like we replayed it and that's what it had said my face so in the front room we got the word abused and then yes. we said, were you abused? And then it said emotional. And then a few moments later, it said, I can't leave. 
And then Elena, you you asked, I'm sorry, do you want to leave? Yep. And it said, I do. And I think that's... And it answered like right away. Like, like it was literally answer. answering you. Like, yeah. do you want to leave? I do. I do. It was like yeah. a back yeah. and forth combo. Is this what then led us down to the basement? No, we that were in later? Andrew's room. Yeah. Yeah. This- so we then took a break because our food... <laughs> <Door dashed. laughs> driver got because there. we wanted our steak and cheese <laughs> obviously <laughs> we had to eat because sustenance went ghost hunting and that's when we went to that the room where andrew was killed yep and the part that we were just trying to remember that we replayed that you had heard initially was in andrew's room someone asks did something tragic happen in this room and we hear my face yep, yep. and then just moments later another voice comes through and says He's a victim. Yes. yes. Did something tragic happen in this room? That's something like my face. Did you hear that? That also sounds like he's a victim. We hear the word Andy. So that's when we were like, are we talking to Andrew? And then we decide, let's introduce ourselves. So we all said our names. I'm Ash. I'm Corinne. I'm Sabrina. I'm Elena. Kind of sounded like Elena. <laughs> Do you want to talk to Elena? Fucking girl. Fucking girl. Or mean girl. And I was like, oh, I love that. On the S box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then one of you, Sabrina or Ash, you guys asked, Do you want to talk to Elena? And then it said, fucking girl. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what does that mean? Like, yeah. what? Is that? I heard mean girl. Mean girl. I thought it said mean girl. And then you thought it said I fucking thought it girl. I said fucking girl. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, either way, like, what the hell? Like, what's your problem with me? <laughs> like, damn. Like, rude. Well, rude. As we discussed on your feed we were called sluts so we were quite a lot I think so, they, they just didn't really like girls really didn't yeah. like me but that conversation didn't really go anywhere this is also when I had the video camera set up recording oh, yeah. in that room and I went to go check it the camera had died batteries were brand fully new like fully charged we had and like 14 hours of recordable video or something on yeah, the SD card I had a backup battery because I knew something like you know paranormal what happened? I put the other battery in. I go to look back at the videos. It doesn't exist. No, there was nothing. That was wild. That was crazy. Yeah, Which so. like could be, you could say like, oh, because it died, it didn't save the video. Sure, maybe. But like. But why did it die? Why did it die? Yeah. When it was like completely charged, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it was like perfectly on the REM pod. And that's like the moment I wanted to see mm-hmm. if it caught, you know? I know. Oh, Ugh. and we didn't even talk about when you got there your phone had been weren't you like charging your phone on the way yeah on the car ride down my phone was in the charger the entire time and it's never not charged but when we got into the house like five minutes later I look at my phone and it was at 40 percent yeah yeah which is so weird so now that we're in this room we were talking about ash about how you should do the estes method (laughs) yes and then the emf reader started spiking and then at that exact same time the lights in the dining room dimmed yes and we're all like holy shit should someone walk in the dining room like what is going on <laughs> <laughs> just went off. and of course my camera was not angled in that okay, room someone else try to go walk in there no okay. <laughs> i'm ah! oh is it cuz you got up no that's temperature well, and it did the motion. It did and the it green. Did it went green. Like right there. Is there someone here in the room with us? Do you want me to walk in there? You're sure it's not because you both got up. I'm- Let's try again. Ready? One. Are you fucking kidding me? All the lights out? Do you want All the to lights go out. into that room? So Sabrina and I, we both get up and remember the REM pod immediately starts going. Bleh! Yes. And mm-hmm. we're like, oh, well, we jump because we're scared. But then we were like. Is this Is it because, because you guys moved? It was then not we us. tested it. Yeah. Ready, Sabrina? Okay, so that's a debunked. And we tried to imitate it and it wouldn't do it again. The REM pod doesn't react to our movement, but as we're trying to test this out and like questioning, was that a ghost or was that, that us? The dining room lights just completely shut off. Yeah, it was completely it was. black. Is there a room you would like us to go to? Yeah. 
you want us to go upstairs? Front end. Under. The basement. Do you want us to go to the basement? Oh, the heater. <laughs> Would you like us to go to the basement? Dead or body. Is her dead body. If you would like us to go to the, if you would like us to go to the basement, can you give us some kind of sign? I'm sorry. Why? Sounds like they want us to go to the front end of the basement. All right, shall we? Oh, yeah. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah. I do remember that. And all of the lights in the dining room went out, mm -hmm. which knowing it was on a timer was one thing, but the, the timing. amount of time that from us last walking in and triggering the yep. light it was to this going off was sense. not enough time yeah. for it to go off according to its timer. Yep, 100%. That also, the front foyer light kept going on yes. and off too mm -hmm. and the you both noticed it right away you're like was this light on before and Corinne and I had truly stood in front of that light to talk about it before you got there so we knew it was on mm -hmm. at least like when we had seen it but then multiple times it turned off and on and there was no rhyme or reason no rhyme or reason like it no. wasn't motion it wasn't time no because nobody was really walking through that no, area right. and like then you and I remember we went to go Tried to put the uh, ash. You and I tried to go put my video camera looking at the stairs to catch yep. something. The light was off. We walk in there. It does not turn on. We start to like play with the like the key to turn it on. Mm -hmm. And even the light switch didn't control it. Yeah. Like I don't even know what that light, how it turned on or off. Yeah. It is a paranormal light. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It didn't make sense that they were no. turning on and off no. like they were. So then we tried to go to the basement. We tried. We did. And as we were walking, do you remember when we go into the kitchen and we go down the hallway to exit out the back door, you were holding the EMF reader, Ash, and it started spiking. It was going crazy. Yeah, like something wanted out. us to go into yeah. that basement. Yeah. And then it went even crazier yep. when we were at the basement door. Yeah. yeah. It just went to red. <gasps> that just, I wish I was filming on that. My dick. <laughs> this is the basement, right? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, we're gonna go inside. So Ash, I mean to go first. No. <laughs> I'll go first. Should Sabrina, Should Sabrina go, go first? first? Go ahead. It's like, I don't care. Someone Should knows. Ash but go first? Do we know the code? Don't Asking know. each other, not the spirits, and the EMF reader was boom, boom, mm -hmm. like, like red, red, straight up red. to yeah. red. But we couldn't get in. Because <laughs> it's locked. <laughs> and that is when we realized that the Lizzie Borden house did not realize that we were there that night. They <laughs> forgot about us. So we went back inside, found the emergency contact number, let them know we were there. And they're like, oh, shit. And then they sent a tour guide over so at 1030 sorry. p.m. And she was amazing. Yeah, she was. She was. And they were so apologetic, too. They were like, yeah. oh, my God. And yeah. We were like, it's fine. Because it was something like since we had rented the whole house, it didn't show up or something. It didn't show up as like a room or yeah. something. Yeah. But we were like, yeah, we're here. <laughs> yeah. Once Amber got there, she led us into the bookshop. And then we could pick whatever like equipment that they had that we didn't already have. Mm -hmm. And we grabbed the infrared camera. Yep. And then we grabbed the motion sensor oh. music box. Oh my God. Oh. That thing is going to be the death of me someday. We have had some experiences with that. that and you had been telling tool. us about yeah. your experience with it, with Sam and Colby on the USS Salem yes. before. And it was so similar. Yeah. That was the worst part about it. Like, yeah, it really yeah. was. And a lot of people say like, even Amber was like, I'm going to go reset that because it never goes off like for she this long. And that's what happened when you and I, Elena, were on the USS yeah. Salem. And I was like, yeah. what is it about us that makes ghosts yeah. want to stand in front of music boxes? <laughs> Which when we get to the basement, we'll have to tell yeah. you that story. Yeah. yeah. So when Amber came, she gave us a lot of context of hauntings. And I'm glad she came before we went down into the basement because Absolutely. we were like under the impression that someone like a spirit had been trapped in the basement and mm -hmm. needed help. Because I didn't say, like, help. Like It said trap. It, or yeah. Trapped. And then we were like, can we help you? It did say help me when we were yeah. down in the basement. Yeah. It did. Right. Yep. So I think we were anticipating speaking with a spirit that it needed some kind of help in the basement. But when Amber came and told us, like, more history about the crimes and about how Lizzie was acquitted, she told us about how no one investigated her room because it was improper to do so for a woman. Mm -hmm. That was wild. And, like, the period blood... 
She also told us that Emma, who was, I guess, an agoraphobe, ended up weirdly, this agoraphobe who never left the house, happened to be gone for the, a two-week period, which yep. is like a weird timing. The uncle who had been staying there got lost. He had like 90 hour. minutes of time. In the like small downtown that he yeah, was just familiar no, with. Right. Nobody knows There's his no, whereabouts yeah, for that unaccounted minute for, period of time. Which I did see. It's a theory that he did it. Right. She also told us a lot about how Lizzie and Emma were raised by the parents and how like they were very frugal. I think it was a lot of good context for us. Mm -hmm. But then she told us that the basement, there is a spirit of a woman named Eliza mm -hmm. who had very sadly and tragically tried to kill all three of her children, only killed two of them in the basement of what was next door. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then went and took her own life and she is trapped in the basement. And then there's also a like, more malevolent spirit yeah in the basement and i think didn't she say that that malevolent spirit came or something about like the portal brought him in because there's also a portal in mm -hmm. the front room oh yeah mirror portal yeah because yeah. he hadn't always been there she said and the oh, the trickster yeah. like um spirit which she was yeah, saying she said it wasn't a demon but it wasn't a human, something in between. And I was like, is there an in-between? Yeah, is there I an I feel like you're either a demon or you're a human. That's what I was really confused about. It was like aggressive with its language. Because when she said it's mean. not human, I was like, oh, we're talking demon? Like we got yeah. a demon in this and house? She was and right, she was like, no. it's not a demon. And I was like, hmm. And I was hmm. like, I don't know. I feel like you have a demon. It's like it kind of feels great. like the creeper from Waverly Hills. Although that feels well, really that demonic, but it's bad. almost like an amalgamation of something negative that happened there. Yeah, that yeah. like some spirit maybe like attached itself to that energy and has like become turned kind of nasty. Thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But Amber was calling the the trickster Carl, so that made him a lot less <laughs> it intimidating. Made him so much less. Scary. <laughs> it's like ugh. Go away, Carl. She was hilarious we like, with him. She what? was like, Carl, we're sick of you. We're trying to talk to the kids. Let's go. <laughs> like, I was like, out. oh my God. But the kids were really, well, like we'll get there obviously, but oh, the kids were a... scared of Carl. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. At one point, but we should go to the basement first. Well, because Eliza's whole thing is like, she was clearly suffering from like postpartum depression because she had kids like rapidly in yeah. succession. Yeah. And obviously yes. they didn't recognize that back then. They were no. like, absolutely. So they tried to use that because she was like, Related to the Bordens, yeah. she was like, what was it? The she, She's the aunt, by marriage. aunt by marriage. Yeah, so, so she wasn't even blood related. Yeah. But they tried to use it in the trial with Lizzie to say, look, madness runs in the family. And it's like, first of all, it's postpartum depression. Yeah. So, no. But they had, they had second no of all, idea what that was. She's, she's not, not related. related by blood. So yeah. it actually got thrown out for that reason. Yeah, but right. just the fact that they tried to use it in the and first place. And they had place. to look at the... The surviving child, Maria, who had grown up and like been married and, you know, totally was just fine. living her life totally fine. And they were like, look, she's fine. Yeah. Like, right. You're telling me madness, quote unquote, runs in this family. It's like, right. no. It's so sad. It, it is. is. And so sadly, like, Eliza's spirit apparently is trapped in the basement and it's almost like a punishment to herself. Like, which mm -hmm. is her and her trapped. kids never reunite. Yeah. And the kids won't go in the basement too, which was like the yes. saddest don't thing. Don't blame them. Yeah, don't yeah, blame them That all. is a creepy. So- Basically, Amber's like, all right, so where should we start? And we all agreed to start in the basement. One, because we had been called down yeah. there. And two, we were the most scared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, let's check that off our yeah. list and get it over with. Exactly. Especially while Amber was with us, because we only yeah. had her for two right. hours. I mean, immediately things were happening. Oh, mm -hmm. it was wild down there. So you walk down, and if you go straight, there's like a kind of back alley-ish storage area, really which is dark. where... Eliza said to kind of like crouch down and hang out like the way back corner. Yeah, yeah, she was like, that's Eliza's corner over there. I was like, you make it sound whimsical. Should I go put this in Eliza's corner? And of course, I like said the brave thing. Then I was like, someone come with me. Someone yep. come with me. So Ash, you came with me yep. and I put it over there. And I was like, if you would like to communicate with us, you can touch this. And then you what did you say? We don't want to be touched, please. I don't know what I said. I, I think I blacked out. In the <laughs> I think you I think you verbatim said but please don't touch me. And immediately oh, yeah. yep. something yeah. touched me. Oh, fucking A. Yeah. When I said I don't want to be touched, I felt something on my thigh. Yeah. And it was just like a poke in my thigh. Like, that's all it felt like. Like, just a poke. Yeah. You're right. I said, don't touch me. Like, I'll come over here, but don't touch me. And immediately it was like, poke. it was Carl. Which I totally think it was Carl. That was Carl. Mm -hmm. being like, oh, yeah. yeah. So we left it there. As we are about to... You got two steps away from the it started going and off. it started going on. And then I think we literally ran away from it yeah, in that we, moment. Yeah, we did. We scurried. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, yeah. And it happened one more time because I have it on video 
we're walking into like what was the seance room that they had set up. It was like in the middle. Mm-hmm. That was scary. As we're walking into it, you hear the REM pod go off. And I was like, guys, it's green. <laughs> I was like, what's that? what is that? Which meant somebody motion. had to touch Which it, meant right? Motion. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That there was someone like right yeah. in that vicinity. And then we sat down and we're all talking. And I think not Corinne. Corinne did not sit down. <laughs> I sat down until. <laughs> the the um, music box. The second that we sat down. <laughs> you just got a big glass of cold air too. It's going off nonstop. Music started playing, and then I was up and wedging myself between <laughs> Ash and Amber. <laughs> and it didn't stop. So the music box Amber had set up in the room to the left of the seance room. And right at the bottom of the stairs. In there by itself. We sat down. It immediately starts going off and doesn't stop. Would that, not stop. That's supposedly the room where, like, whoever did this burned clothes, right? Yeah, the room mm-hmm. where it happened. Yeah, because if you take a picture <laughs> in this certain area of the oh, basement. Oh, yeah, you took a picture. Did you take a picture? A I did. face shows oh, up. Oh, yeah. And I, I took a picture the first time we went. I don't even want that to live on my current camera roll. Well, they said that they've sanded and repainted so many times, and no matter how deep they get into that wall, it does not the go face away. Keeps it's if you up. take a photo with flash too, right? Yep. Yeah, and the face showed up. The face showed it's up immediately. Terrifying. Took one photo. Face is there, and it was there when we went there last time too. Yeah, that was the thing they showed us that last time because they said take a picture of it and like something will show up, and they didn't say what. And I was yeah, like, they okay, didn't tell curiosity. us the first time, and then I remember seeing it and being like what the fuck? Like, I, I like, don't you even know there's this a image. face back there, right? <laughs> they were like, yep, that's it. They were like, yep, that's the trick. But that music yeah. box going on, it just kept going off. It kept happening. And that's what happened with Sam and Colby when we went to the USS Salem. Mm-hmm. Because when we were walking into the mess hall during that one, like what was the mess hall? Sam jokingly said, everyone on the ship report to the mess hall. And he like yelled it. And then we walked in and we all sat down. They put the music box in the doorway. And all of a sudden it was just like, do, 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 do. It was like people were just filing into the room. And it would like stop and then go on again. And then a bunch more would come in. It it has a sensor. And so if you walk in front of it or if something passes in front of it, it sets it off. Mm -hmm. Like a motion sensor. And it plays for what, three seconds and then it stops. Yeah, just a quick little like, do, 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 do. And it's like, that would be it. Chills out. But this time, it just it kept has going. it, and I have it on video. The constant sound of it happening because we were just like, it what never the stopped. Fuck? Like, like someone was just like standing there and like, yeah, it makes like me pacing. think that they're kind of you know in paranormal activity where oh, they capture uh, her and she's out of her bed, but oh she's like God, rocking back and forth. There. Oh my God, I hate it. I took the heat camera over there too and couldn't see anything. No. Mm-hmm. Who are we talking to? And Amber went in the room and finally shut it off. Like, it didn't even stop by itself. It never stopped. 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 Which I was like, you're the bravest bitch in the game. (laughs) Because I would never. I think I have, like... Oh, even hearing such a creepy noise. After this, we were like, okay, we've done enough downstairs. (laughs) But we didn't. We sat... I know, we stayed down there for a while. We sat in the seance room. Yeah. Not a super long amount Not of time. Not a crazy okay, amount, but, but a while in the sense of like, what the fuck were we doing? Well, because that was our first communication with Carl. Oh, yeah. And kept, yeah. He kept calling us stupid. And he just kept he said calling us stupid. And then he moved straight from stupid to slutty. Slutty. Yep. And then from then on, he just sluts. said sluts. Stupid. It just said stupid. Stupid? stupid? Yeah. 100%. Sleep. Slut? Disagree. Oh, someone here disagrees that we're Thank you. Not Eliza. It took whatever spirit, if it was Carl, a while to form the full word. We kept hearing like, oh yeah. We were like, it's saying something, but we don't know what. And then eventually he must have gotten enough energy. mustered it up. To call us sluts. Yep. Probably fed on all our terror of ha- of hearing that music box. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's what it Maybe was. Maybe that's why. Maybe we just like built it up and built it up and he kept it going. It was powering <laughs> up. Maybe that's yeah. why he was able to finally muster it up. He yeah. was the one doing the music box and then he was like, okay, I got enough. That, yeah. Totally. It's like Monsters sense. Inc. <laughs> yes. Exactly. It was really sad though because Eliza also made contact with us yeah. down there. What's her? Help me. Help me. Oh, Eliza, is that you? If How do we help? If that's you, make your presence known, please. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. He yeah. said, how do we help? But then it immediately went back to slut. Yeah. So Carl was there again. Yeah. And then, Ash, you asked how many people are down here with us. Mm-hmm. And they, someone said two of us. Yeah. So it was Eliza and Carl, the trickster. And Carl. Yep. Entity. So I was like, Carl, you're not a person. Which honestly, I was happy to hear too. I was I was waiting for like 74. <laughs> to yeah, 74 yeah. people are down here. 35 actually. <laughs> <laughs> Roll call. I was so happy Amber was with us, but I will say she was really confident in her interactions with Carl. Yes. And it made me scared that he was going to be aggressive me aggressive yeah. too yeah no I 100% agree especially when we were upstairs and she yes. was like Carl like go away get out of here no one wants to talk to you Carl I'm like oh my god we're bullying an entity <laughs> yeah. as soon as she said that I literally was like I'll, I'll talk to you if I need to yeah, yeah. It's like, okay. and you were like not right now we'll talk to you later and I wanted to be like we won't but I don't want to talk to you <laughs> yeah. but how I else do you like nicely come back from being like shut up Carl <laughs> exactly exactly I was trying to balance remember the we energy. all said we would go back to the basement and <laughs> when the first opportunity we had we closed that door yeah we were yeah. just like click you and I were going back from the bathroom and I was like dude <laughs> um, can't go down there again we literally locked ourselves upstairs yeah, yeah. we yeah. made it so we absolutely couldn't go back down yeah I'm trying to think there was before Amber came when we were in Abby's room there were a couple of messages that we got yes that's when we got closet wasn't was it? that when we got closet and we strangled about- yes we talked about a lot on your feed mm-hmm. yeah. that also comes out today where we talked about some of the facts that we learned and some of the new theories associated with the Lizzie Borden yes. case. That room was kind of creepy. It's funny. So the first time that Elena and I went to that house, I ended up like feeling genuinely sick in that room. Like yeah. really bad. Like I had mm-hmm. to leave. Like I was like, I'm going to pass out in here. And I felt gross in there still. Like I felt like icky, but I didn't feel as bad this time around. No. I felt horrible in that room. Every single time we went in. I you didn't feel good in that room. I like had a headache. I felt so much pressure on my chest. I felt like intense mm. dread and sorrow. It wasn't at all a scary thing. It was like sad. Sad. Like yeah. I was grieving someone. Well, and she, I think she said or whoever. When we went into that room, the first sad. thing that came over ghost tube was sad. Sad. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like, it is sad. Mm-hmm. And the room was so floral smelling. It smelled it, wonderful. It was. But yeah, we kept was. getting scents. Oh, I just got chills just thinking Waves about Waves of smells. And like, I think you said like fresh powder. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was like a what you would wash your body with. And yeah. there was actually like a little like sink in there where like yeah. she would have. Right. Mm-hmm. And technically that's the, the guest bedroom. Like that wasn't even where she slept or anything. Right. It was just where she was killed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's photos of the crime scene in the room. Yeah. Which I don't can, love personally. I know. And the creepy dolls all over the house. I didn't love that. Didn't no, I love, didn't love that. that. And Which you said is a new addition because they weren't there last yeah, time. Yeah, they we were weren't there, there when the we were The creepy dolls last weren't. Time. I do want to say that the crime scene photos were there. No, they were. Right. Yeah, yeah they absolutely. were. The because dolls it is were like, it, they leave those things because for like the historical it is aspect of it. So I can mm-hmm. like somewhat understand that one more. Yeah. I and I think that. like because the autopsy happened in the dining room, they show you like. That you're in the room that the, right. that happened mm-hmm. with, yeah. It's like the kitschiness of the other stuff, the like the the hatchets and all that, and like the dolls. Yeah. And the yeah. dolls are also are they supposed to be Lizzie Borden? Because then that's also perpetuating something that we can't that say we can't is prove. True. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So okay, we left the basement, and then I think we went all the way upstairs, yeah, like, to yes. the third floor, right? Because we still had Amber with us, and so yeah. we were like, we want to go to the most haunted places, which were the basement and. That back bedroom. The back bedroom with all the toys, yep. which is where the kids spend the most amount of time. Right. And she had showed us this incredible photo that had been captured on the thermal camera because it's this like thermal gun that if you click a couple buttons, you can either record a video or take a photo. Mm-hmm. And someone had captured, truly, it looks like a toddler, like a baby in diapers. In yeah. a diaper. Like climbing cool. up on, like ho- trying to hoist themselves up on a piece it's of furniture so clear. It was like the bed. It and was, it's the little like baby legs and everything, everything. like yes. the stance and all that like yeah the like outturned a, hips yeah. like everything yeah blew my mind like, that was one of the scariest right. things yeah. i've seen it's so sad too yeah no it's yeah. so sad yeah and that was another room where i felt like really overwhelming sadness yeah when we walked up there so the third floor right when you go up the steps it's Bridget's room, and then you have to go down the long hallway past the room that you two were supposed to sleep in. Yeah, never, <laughs> which we never, <laughs> which never, no one ever stepped into. And then the kids' room. But remember, I went to go put a REM pod in Bridget's room. Yep. And I heard a cat meow. Yeah. And there is a cat. Immediately. Max. 
Max, the ghost cat. I was like, I'm excited about this. Yeah, like, <laughs> Here, Here we go. go. <laughs> and then we went into the kids' room. And that's and when shit really so popped off. Happened. This is where I really believe in the ghost tube. Yeah, yeah. that's where your mm. ghost tube really because showed its showed its shine. The tone of what it was saying shifted completely mm. in that room. Yes. Everything up until that point was like when we walked into Abby's room, it was like closet, dirty, strangled, like trying to tell us mm-hmm. like this is what happened here yeah. kind of thing almost. And like sad, all that. And like downstairs, it was Andrew being like, you're fucking annoying me. And yeah. like, be quiet. Yeah. Like, get out of here. And then we go up there and it turned like childlike. Yeah. Like yeah. it just, everything it, was it said curious. was. very yeah. curious. It was very innocent. It said things like, are you a friend? Are you a friend? That moment, which that we have it on video. We have it on multiple angles to a video, yeah. which is, I showed John and he was flabbergasted by that. So we're sitting up there and with Amber, we're like first showing the ball, the cat toys, Mm -hmm. which they light up. We were trying to like, you know, get the kids to be like, hey, you can play with these. You can roll these. We rolled one of like the bigger balls and it was like, you can play with this too. And then I started taking out toys from the. The toy box. Yeah, the toy box, which they interacted with because when you took out the snake, it said something like slither. And then when you took out the horses, it said walk, come and go. And we were like, horses do walk. Horses do come and go. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all these toys over here. You can play with all of them. Look at all these toys over here. There's a little snake. Ooh. And a horse. I don't know if it's having more fun. It's working. It's working? It said it's walking when you put the horse out. Oh, the horse is walking. Look. It's trotting. Yay. (laughs) (laughs) The horses do come and go. And then it said, the spirit said, snuggle. Snuggle. Oh, you like to snuggle? And stay with us. It, yes, it said stay with us. And then at one point it said, don't leave me. That was when I stood yes. up, remember? And you I went to stand went up to, and it said, don't leave me. Yeah. And we were like, we're not leaving. Like, yeah. Some of us are witchy. We are a bit witchy here. <laughs> They've gotten psychic quite a bit. Don't leave. I'm not. I promise. Don't leave. It was right when Sabrina oh got on. I'm not leaving. Desk. Desk. And at one point it said, are you a friend? And everybody was like, yes. oh, my God, yes, we're friends. We're, we're friends. friends. We're your friends. As soon as we said that, I, somebody, I can't remember who it was, said, come play with us. Like, we're here to play with you. And the REM pod all of a sudden went off. Mm-hmm. Like, Boom. as if something had touched it. Like, it was like, oh, okay. Like, it was like, are you a friend? And we were like, yeah. And it was like, cool. Let's play this. Okay. Like, let's do this. Oh, you can play music with this, too. This is so are you a friend? Are you a friend? We, we are. are. We are our friends. friends. Yeah. Come play with us. Does that turn off my zone? Oh. Are you playing with us? And then you started reading the wild. book. You were reading <laughs> Goodnight oh, yes. Moon. And it said good. But didn't it say slower too? Like it said <laughs> slower at one point. And then it said good. And you went, you were like, yes, that's it. And it said sorry. Like it had interrupted you. Like, no, that's so good. Because it was like and a we second like, no, before okay. you were going to say good night. Yeah. Something. And it was like good. And then you were like, oh, yes. Yeah, good night. And, and it, was it was like, like sorry. sorry. And I was like, this is like a conversation. It like, was so yes. beautiful. And none it of was. the words, really none of those sentences happened Anywhere, anywhere else in the house. Mm-hmm. No. And it wouldn't have made sense really in a lot no. of the rooms. No, it like, wouldn't. Like, don't leave us. It like, only made sense there. Me. They were scared. So we, because we went there right from the basement and we did keep hearing like slut. Yeah. So the belief is that Carl kind of came up with us. And this is when Amber was like being really aggressive. With, <laughs> yeah. Like, get out <laughs> of here, away, Carl. Carl. We're hanging we out with the kids. You, Carl. And so the kids kept coming through saying scared. And so we were trying and to tell them. you don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. And then they said, well, because I asked, do you get to hang out with the cat? And they said, yeah, sort of. And then a few moments later, they said, to the right, don't go there. Yep. Oh, and to our yep. right was basically like the doorway to get yep. in and out of the room. And just moments later, all of a sudden slut. it was slut, yep. slut. That was two different voices. To, to your right. right. Who's right? Don't go there. Don't go there. Wait, like, like, don't go to the right? Was that slut again? I thought that was slut. Yeah. That guy. 
Carl, you can go back downstairs. Carl. And, and like, so they were basically trying to say, like, Carl's in the doorway. He's to your right. Don't go over there. Which oh. scared the shit out of oh, me. I have chills I just thinking about, about it right now. Say, I just got full chills. And that makes me so sad that they're, like, trapped inside that house with, with things like that. Like, yeah. And that they're warning us. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, you're the one who has to stay yeah. here. Like, I can leave. I know. I it reminds me so of Casper with his mean brothers. Yeah. I know. I, know. I was oh. like, oh. But then they did say sleepy, and we were like, did, we'll let yeah. you sleep. And then I took a picture of where all the toys were because we were like, I wonder if, because we told them to, like, you can play with these toys, like, have as much fun as you want. And we were curious if anything would yeah. move by the end of the night. Mm-hmm. And we did go back to check. Yeah. And I don't think anything had moved. Right? Nothing no. had moved. No. But the second, so this was like the last thing we did in the house. Yeah. We went back up there. Nothing had moved. But immediately, what did it your s- ghost tube said something about play with me. I think it, it said, said play with us. Do you want to play? Yeah. Do you want to play? That was absolutely bonkers. We were in stunned silence. But we were all just like, <laughs> yeah, because it was, I sat on the bed and it said, do you want to play? And I was like, we all like looked at each other like, because <laughs> that just happen? It didn't say anything about playing or stay with me or are you a friend until we got in that room. The second and we crossed the Even threshold. the second time. It had actually been like super quiet up to that point. Super quiet. Because we were in that front room. You guys were kind of like falling asleep a and little bit. And then Ash, you started to fall asleep I and I was like, we got to do something. <laughs> and it was so quiet up to that point. And then as soon as we went up yeah. there, it was it like, It didn't boom. say a thing until we walked in that room. That I had true. it going the entire time we walked up those stairs. Right. Everything. That's the other thing with Ghost Stupid is the majority of the time we were in the house, it was running. It's not like we just yeah. started it and stopped it like when we were at certain yeah, locations. No, It was consistently yeah. going between one of our phones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. And I feel like we got the most activity out of all the rooms in that room. And it was so positive. Like it so was. happy. The first time we went up there after I'd gotten poked in the thigh, I definitely felt something pull on my pant leg. That's like the right. Bottom oh of my yeah, pants. that's the second time you got And that. I thought that maybe like my leg got like twisted in my pants or something. And then like it ruffled like out and I tried to recreate like the movement and I couldn't feel that sensation again. So I definitely think like something was pulling. Something went down. You know what's spooky? So we ended up talking with a pet psychic who that on Monday was doing the readings for us because she like did them ahead of time and wrote them down for us. In my reading, it's weird. I apparently showed up, my higher self showed up in like a clown costume with balloons, but there was a group of kids sitting on the floor and I was handing balloons to the kids. Stop. And the exact day that she was channeling Sabrina's energy and trying to channel her cat Leia's energy for this reading was when we were doing the overnight and Sabrina was trying to entertain all the kids. Oh my God, I have chills right now. I know, I have chills again too. Because you were the main one. Like you got right on the floor. You started pulling shit out of the toy box. Like- (laughs) And you were reading to them and yeah. talking to them the most. That's yeah. crazy. Isn't that wild? And that was like the last interaction that we really had until we yeah. left. Right. Which was nice. Yeah. That was yeah. a great way to end. Yeah. Okay. We definitely need to talk about the when we were sitting in the dining room and we were reading the stories <gasps> from. So we were sitting in Andrew's room and it kind of had been like a little bit quiet. So Corinne was like, I think I'm going to lay here and nap. You're pregnant. You needed to get some sleep. Yes. I was like, I'm not going to make it through without like some yeah. small naps. Yeah. But I wanted to be in the rooms that you guys were yeah. in. So I was in a you chair. Were, just I was you just were so in the chair as everyone else is like. Baby's first Who's ghost hunt. Communicate with us. <laughs> Baby's first ghost hunt. Baby slept through the first seance. <laughs> and the three of us were playing Cards Against Humanity. Yeah, We were just yeah. chit-chatting. And then a couple, Well, because also the house and the spirits, they were kind of indicating to us that they needed a little bit of a break. At one point they said, be quiet. Yeah, we annoyed, and we were like, you know what? We'll listen to you. <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah. give you a break. We'll give right. you a break. We're supposed to be respecting each other here, yeah. so we'll take a break and respect you. Yes, it did say be quiet and like you're annoying at the same. Yes, like, literally. Okay, we were, we're like, like got it. Fine. And that was when we were in the room where Andrew was killed, and <laughs> yeah. I, I totally felt like that was his 100%. energy. One hundred percent. All right, like chill out, girls. Yeah, it was like he was like the dad at a slumber party. Right. right. <laughs> he had two daughters. He probably yeah. like he has no problem being like, oh, you're so yeah. annoying. <laughs> But so we were playing Cards Against Humanity, but I think there was a certain point. Did all the REM pods go off at the yes, same time? They yep. did. And that woke you up, right? No. No? The weird the smell, smell woke me up. Because that happened. Like the REM, all in the different rooms, so they I, all went And that off. was right before they went off, the weird smell. Yeah. yeah. The weird smell happened about like five seconds before 
the REM pod went off because I like woke from the dead (laughs) and I was like, it smells like sewage and pretzels, which (laughs) to me feels like there's a demon present. (laughs) Was it Carl, do we think? It could have been Carl. Because you smelled it too. And we were sitting on opposite sides of the room. So it kind of like permeated the whole And it like wafted through, like it didn't stick around. No, it 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 just like went by. Just a moment. Just a stinky little moment. <laughs> and in my mind, I was like, I have to fully wake myself up and tell you guys, because what if there is something here? And like, mm-hmm. I'm kind of in and out of sleep at this point. And I'm like, I don't want you guys to not know that I'm smelling this in case it is something bad trying to communicate. Right. And as I'm like getting up to tell you guys, you're about to get up because all of the REM pods go yep. off at the same time. So it's like we smell the smell and five and there seconds three later- of them. Yeah. Three REM pods in, in three rooms. different rooms yep. all go off at the exact same time. We had yep. one in the dining room, one in Andrew's room, which is the room we were in, and then one in the living room. All three went off at the exact same time. Yep. The amount of moments where we were all stunned into silence. And yes. just like looking around at each other, like, what do, what do, we, what do, do? we do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, rem- it reminds me of Elena when you and I were in the dining room alone when you guys were oh, setting a up a bunch of, of the equipment. <laughs> So and funny. we're sitting there and we're sitting on the same side and you and I were both kind of getting a little bit sleepy. So like we weren't talking, we we're just sitting there <laughs> and then the lights get brighter and we Here. both, you like look around <laughs> and then we both just look at each other and then like <laughs> turn back, like not acknowledging really. Oh my God. We're like, it's happening, but, <laughs> but we don't know what to do about it. Was that when you and I went to put one of the, the cameras and we were doing the That's, light thing at yeah. that point? Yeah. That yeah. We both just looked at each other and we're like. We didn't even speak after. Silence. Just kept sitting there. That had been happening like all night with the lights. So yeah. you were like, I don't know At what that we're going to do we're about like, it. I don't what know can what we do? do. This is what it is. At one point, too, it was when Andrew was getting a little annoyed with us. It was at one point he said, you shouldn't be here. Yeah. And when he said that, I have a video. Ash just goes, no. Because <laughs> I was like, you're right. We shouldn't. I mean, again, though, it makes me think of. You shouldn't be here. No. The saddest, like. No, because no. it was the energy had been like pretty, like obviously it was scary, but like nothing had really said like get yeah. the fuck out of <laughs> yeah. here. And when it was like you shouldn't be here, I was like, oh no, is it turning? We should go. <laughs> Just go. No, <laughs> I know. I have oh wild reactions God. in the moment. It was also like anytime the REM pods went off, it was a similar s- situation. Except for in the kids' room, anytime the REM pods were off, they would go off together. Yeah. yeah. Like yes. the time in Bridget's room where all at once oh they both God. went off and the cat ball. And I yes. had only gotten a video of the, because I basically started it after the one to my right had started. So yep. I was over on the one by the door and then the cat ball was going at the same time. We didn't even notice that until the playback. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was wild. Do you guys remember what we were talking about when that happened? I don't remember mm-hmm. what we were saying. I honestly think that's the only time. None of us were yeah. recording. Yeah. In a weird way, I feel like that room was one of the scarier rooms because we all wanted to get the fuck out of there. Yeah. yeah. And it was like kind of inexplicable. They also have a book of people's stories where people write what yes. has happened. And we sat in the kitchen and we were reading them. And I can't remember in the, the exact dining room or in the dining room. And I can't remember the exact wording, but there was one story where we read it and we got an EVP that was, they were basically were like, that didn't happen. False. Yeah. yeah. It said false. 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 Yeah. false. So we started doing that and we basically, I was like, I think I have some recordings of this where I was like, we're just going to read through these experiences of other people. Like, we'd love to hear your take, like if this is how it happened. Mm-hmm. And multiple times it corrected us. Yeah. It would say it never. Validated sometimes. it. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I was lying on my side and felt a vibrating by my arm. Maybe it was Max. Oh. There's a sewing room. Where's that? False. False. Wait, when you were reading the stories, you passed one and you were like, I'm not going to do that right now. Do you remember what it said? Oh, yeah. I think it was talking about like really tall shadow people Mm. and like something of watching them sleep. I, I was just like. This just feels too scary. Too ominous. Yeah, like yeah. I don't need this like, in my... I was happy you did it, it was but like I was 3 like, I need to so. ask her. Yeah, it was getting yeah. way late at that yeah. point. Oh, I think there was also one about like being scratched, like a demon scratched thing. Oh. So I was just like, one, I don't know if this is true. And two, I don't want to like, put it, it in the yeah. air, especially because we were sitting in the dining room. The lights already were creepy. It was already a creepy room. And we had watched that video. We have to talk about that video. Amber told us about it. They were like... Was it a mother, daughter? I think yes, yeah. In the house, they had bought the whole, like, they had booked the whole house and they were in that room and the lights turn off. Yup, which had been happening to us all night. 
they kind of like both pause, look at each other, and there's a closet door right underneath the camera, and it starts oh, yes. slowly opening yeah. on its own, and you see both of them like be like, <gasps> they like lost it. Yeah. yeah. I would have started sobbing in that moment. Oh, I would have lost it. Yeah. 100%. I remember you checked that closet when we first got yeah. there because I was like, oh, what's in here? And it was just like a little broom closet. Like, and but yeah. it was even, it was like really small. And yeah. we didn't have any experience. Like, no, it didn't have anything, anything no. similar like that. When you were reading the stories, one of them ended with, and I don't think Abby wanted us in her space. And as you said it, some like somebody asked, I think it was you, you were like, what was that last thing? And I was like, oh, Abby didn't want them in their space. And, and as I said things. it out loud with the naked ear, I heard I will go to my dying day saying that it is on. Camp. No, it's on video. We both heard. Yeah. There was a woman near the stairs yes. where the room is that Abby was, was killed, killed in. in. I don't know what she said, but she said something. I heard a woman we, loud and fucking and we clear. And you it can back. hear it. And you can hear. You can't make out what she's saying, but you hear a It was voice. a woman's voice. You boy. hear a woman's voice. And it was yeah. so loud and clear that I was like. Should we check around to make sure nobody's in this house? Because I feel right. like there's a human in this house. What did you say right before that happened? Um, that it seemed like you were reading that it seemed like Abby was mad that somebody was in her space. What was that? Mad that somebody was in her space. It was a woman's voice. What? No, I straight up heard that. I believe you guys. Me too. It sounded like it was 10 feet from us. Like yeah, it, was it was just so clear. down the hall. And the three of us all heard it. Yes. yes. I was too busy chomping on pink Starbucks. <laughs> that was another moment of like the stunned one time silence. you're not the one who. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, Here's what it said. Yeah. And of course, we can't decipher what it said because we didn't have your ears. Yeah. <laughs> that one blew my we mind. Because that was the only moment where we heard something with, with our, our naked, naked ear. ear. Right. Outside of using. You could equipment. hear like every now and then I felt like I heard like a footstep upstairs yeah. or I felt yes. like something move. You heard breathing. Thing, didn't you? I heard breathing, yeah, at one you point. Did? And some of us heard music at different points, like I heard very music. faint music. Yeah. Often. Throughout. You heard it a lot. And then you said it, so I don't know if maybe it made me like think I was hearing it. But later in the night when it started getting quieter and like you two were sleeping, I think I looked at you and I was like, do you hear that? Yeah. And you were like, you didn't hear anything. Yeah. I thought it was either breathing or like music. But it was yeah. so faint it's that so I couldn't faint. decide which one it was. Right. It's almost like, are we playing a trick on ourselves? Yeah, Because exactly. it's so quiet that we're hearing things. I definitely heard footsteps above us a few times. And yeah. it was just like, let's ignore Some it. Some things we Wait, don't Wait, Elena, didn't you see a face yes. peer over? Oh, my God, through? yes. When we were in Abby's Wait, room. what? It was Abby's room. I saw somebody like peer around the, the door. Oh, yeah, you said that. And you didn't say it until after. Because like I said, I like trick myself into being like, no. Yeah, yeah no. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. And so I was like, we were in her room. We're getting those like bad and, you know, sad closet strangulate. And I'm like, wow, this is like really intense. I always feel like I can't breathe when I walk in this room, but it is like, sad. 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 It is sad. In it this is room. sad in here. Closet. The closet? Was someone hiding in the closet? And, and as we're talking, out of the corner of my eye, I swear to you, I saw something small peek around the doorway and then peek back. And I literally so much that I like peeked through the door frame because oh I was like, is somebody out there? It could have been the cat or a kid. I think oh, it was. seems like it was a kid. Was it? I'm pretty sure when we were in Abby's room, I was standing closer to the doorway and something on the ghost tube said behind you. I wonder if I it wonder was if it was that. around because I remember I was like I'm not standing by the door anymore. <laughs> like, yeah, you were like fuck that. I wonder if it was because in my head I was like no, you're just you're freaking yourself out. Like right. you're seeing something that's yeah. stupid. And in my head I was like that was too small to be like a. It didn't click in my head. I was like no, nah, that was nothing. And that was before Amber got there. And then there Amber and got there and told us the kids. the kids. And I was like that was a kid looking behind yep. that door. And that's like when you I said think it. that was a kid looking behind that door. I just being like what the fuck are you guys doing in here? I didn't say this when it happened because we were in the front room and it was just you and I awake oh, and no. you guys were sleeping. And I said this to you the other day. I was looking at the wall in front of us, like right next to the piano. And I swear, and I don't, I like second guess myself on this because I don't know if I was just like tired, but I saw this like shadow, like moving along the wall, like back and forth. It's like when I saw the curtains yeah, and I was like, did. am I tripping? It was the left drape. The left one? Yeah. The left red one. Like the top is it not? It? Wait, why? Is am I tripping? 
It was also terrifying in the dining room when we were all sitting eating dinner and Elena was telling her story. And I had to stop and I was like, are you stomping oh your feet? Yeah. Because you were telling like an intense story. And like sometimes you'll like move around yeah. and tell a story. So I was like, oh, she definitely is. Yeah. And then you were like, no, I'm not. The and whole floor so was vibrating and it was like as if you were stomping with emphasis in parts of your story. And I was and in like slippers was, like, too. Moving. And it happened for like three minutes and we all just mostly assumed yeah. that you were moving. And then we asked and you're like, no. I was like, no. You're, you're like, in I slippers. haven't stomped once. <laughs> I was like, I'm not stomping. Yeah, one foot wasn't even on the ground. Yeah. And when you did stomp, it like did not recreate the sound no. or the feeling. No. So we were literally getting like a stomping and vibration, right? It felt like it was under your chair as you were Yeah, and as soon as you asked it, I was like, no. Because I like looked down, like my feet are like up on the thing. And they were. And that's interesting because we would have been right over the basement and that's before we had gone into the basement. Mm. So it's like with something like, come on down, ladies. Taking a broom, being yeah. like, like, you're being yeah. too noisy. Like the downstairs neighbor. Because <laughs> like, ah, these sluts. <laughs> so loud. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there are any other big ones that we're missing. I mean, there's so much, but. It's hard because there's just so much. And the fact that the REM pods went off at the same time multiple times was just so freaky. It also multiple times when we were in the bathroom, yeah. it would start going off. Actually, when you went to the bathroom multiple times, it started yeah. going off. Oh, and there was a time when oh. you two went to the bathroom and Elena and I, and it was like right before we were going to leave. I think it was like right before we went back upstairs to check on the toys and every single REM pod started going yes. off and you guys didn't hear them. No, not at all. You came back and we were like, did you just hear that? And you were like, no. You were like, it was going off for two minutes. It didn't like, make any sense. When we came back, the one in the Andrew's room was still going off and we we're like, yes. And you two were just kind of sitting there with your cameras. Yeah. That's been going off for a long time. It's been going for a long time. Yeah, like at least a minute. Hi. It's the temperature and and movement. But the fact that you didn't hear them didn't no. make any sense. No. no. But the, that bathroom did have the automatic fan, which like does make it hard to hear anything outside of it. But there. even mm. when you like walked out into the kitchen, yeah, that's weird. you know, should we talk about what happened at the very end of the night? Oh, my yes. gosh. The house was so happy. <laughs> we were all horrified being there towards the end because the activity time. really picked up. It started to feel like it was being way more active. And then there was a moment that it did start to feel like it was settling down slightly. And because... Some of us were tired <laughs> and one of us had been sleeping on and off for like two hours. We decided, okay, it's 4.30. Let's wrap it up. The second we said we're going to leave, the entire house got so much brighter. Like visibly. So I literally yes. said, I was like, it looks like daylight. Yes. Yeah. None of us spoke anything yeah, about no it. One acknowledged all of a sudden, it. all four of us went the whole night, were going room by room with each other. With holding hands. All of a sudden, all four of us intuitively we're like okay we feel safe we feel comfortable let's pack up so we were all in strange. separate rooms packing moving freely about the house like no fear none at all it was like an energy lifted yes yeah. then we're standing in the dining room all of our stuff are packed and you're like yeah you said it feels like daylight mm -hmm. and the lights that had been dimming the whole night in the dining room were the brightest. the brightest they had ever been and the bulb that kept going out was completely on fine and like to the point where I think you looked out the window because we were like, does the fucking sun rise this early? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And we look out the window and it's like pitch black. It's 4.30. Because like dark hallways that had one single lamp bulb yeah. were like the brightest rooms you've ever seen. Honestly, that's one of the weirdest things I think I've ever experienced yeah. when we were leaving. Which is like, was the house acting? And they were like, all right, cut, like time to go. Well, I mean, Scene it does over. make sense if Andrew doesn't like people being there. He kept Makes calling us annoying. Obvious. He didn't want us to be there. It would make sense that they put effort into making people feel uncomfortable so that they will leave. Yeah. And the moment we told the house we were leaving, it was like, thank God. We did. Yeah. We accomplished our goal. And it probably takes a lot of energy to like make it uncomfortable. So the second they can stop, they're like, whoof. Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And they wanted to make it easy for us to leave, right? It's like, oh, let's escort you out. Light well, the way. The brightest <laughs> lights possible. Don't trip on your way out. <laughs> yeah, just like everyone was like, here you go, ladies. Like, just leave through this door. <laughs> Bye. And I didn't feel like we were all like shaking it off in the driveway. And even like... <laughs> Oh, 
because there was a couple of times that we went out into like the driveway like mm-hmm. I think when we were trying to go mm-hmm. to the basement and like obviously when you and I first got there even in like the driveway you feel terrified yeah but then when we left and we were like shaking it off we're like literally dancing around the driveway the shake it off like, video yes. is so cute I love that I love video it. <laughs> we need to recreate that every haunted yes. place yeah <laughs> everyone yeah it was wild the juxtaposition of just like moments before being very scared and moving as a group of four everywhere <laughs> yes to suddenly freely roaming the I house, can't collecting all that. of our items it, and heading truly out. truly night and day because it went from the last thing we did was we were up in the kids' room. And even like though that haunting was positive, going down those steps from like the third floor down downstairs, mm-hmm. I was in the back, which also we had been told that in the attic, Bridget had been locked in and you could see on the thing. Yeah. Like there was a lock underneath. Yeah. But I was in the back of the like four of us. And I remember like, Ash, you were right in front of me. And I was like, I don't want to push Ash down the stairs, but I want to be downstairs so fast. And then we decided we were leaving. That feeling was gone. Yeah. And that's like in it's literally so in like an instant. Within mm-hmm. 30 seconds. It's so funny because every time we would move as a group to like go up or down the stairs, you could tell we were all fighting for a spot that was <laughs> not the back. <laughs> and I kept getting the back and I was like, fuck you guys. The back and the front are the worst. Yes. Yeah. Like you just want to be sandwiched in the middle. And we were like, Corinne needs to be sandwiched in the middle. No and then matter we would what. all just rotate like who got to go yep. in the second part. <laughs> there was one time where I was in the back and you guys all stopped right at the top of the stairs. And so I was still on the stairs and oh. I was like, I'm going to get fucking pushed so down sorry. the stairs. Oh my God. If I had and I was just that, there I for like, like 90 seconds and I was like, they'll move eventually. They'll move eventually. <laughs> just me. At us. I was like white knuckling the, the <laughs> oh railing. Remember we like saw, oh my God. That's scary. I know it scared Jesus me too. Christ. Jesus. Now I, I didn't even hear anything. I look over and I just saw the door slowly opening and I was like, I gotta go. <laughs> it was crazy. So much happened. I can't wait to do the next one with you guys. I know. We're a paranormal investigative group now. We're going to make custom made jackets. <laughs> yeah, we are. And we're going to choose another place to go. Hell yeah. yeah. Thank you everyone for joining us. Thanks, Ash and Elena, for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having, having us. us. We love you guys. We love you. We would do this every day of the week. This I know. Is so it's much so fun. fun. <laughs> do you want to do our sign off with us? Ooh, yeah. yeah. Okay. We will see you on the other side.